Hello students, in this video I am going to talk about how to understand statistics and also I am going to talk about why do people find it difficult. So let me first give you a background. I was interacting with some of the students and they told me that during their college days, MBA days, they found statistics the toughest course. Similarly, with some other folks interacting some days back, they told me that statistics is something that just passes over their head. And what I realized that most often then at what happens, that somebody explains you in such a dry manner, in such a mathematical way that you just give up. So what is the way out? And what I realized that, you know, even though I have a course very much for the same purpose so that people can understand statistics very well, you know, people do not know about it. People do not know even something like this exists. So let me first talk about why do most of the people find it difficult to understand statistics. The reason happens that most of the teachers, when they come, they actually start explaining with terms like, null hypothesis, alternate hypothesis, without even giving you a business context. Rather, it should be first explained through example. So somebody should explain you whole thing through a case study kind of thing that, okay, big truck load came, there are a lot of coils, you obviously cannot measure everything, so you'll take some, then how will you know that, okay, this truck, all the coils are okay or not, so how will you infer about that? So that's like way of explaining things as a story. Similarly, people come and they explain normal distribution, they will make graph like this, right? When you ask, okay, what is this indicating? What is the height? What is the x-axis? Many people get confused. So this happens because somebody is just explaining you all of a sudden normal distribution. Rather, it should be explained that, okay, you know, how does it come into the life? How does it come in real life? What happens when you throw one dice? What happens when you throw two dice? And you see the outcome. Okay, how, what is the probability of minimum, which is two? What is the probability of maximum, which is 12? And look at what is the, like when you are throwing one dice, one to six has the same probability. But when you are throwing two dice, does really two, three, four has the same probability two to 12? And that's where you realize that, okay, you know, it takes a save. And that's where, you know, when you throw many dice, it takes a particular kind of shape and that gives you genesis of central limit theorem. Similarly, you know, when people are coming regression and all of a sudden explaining your ordinary least square, it is bound to happen that you will find it very difficult to understand. So what is the way out? So what I have done in my course, I started explaining like there was a prof, he sees that, okay, uh, when he sees more the height of the students, more the weight. So he sees a linear relationship kind of more the height, more the weight, less the height, less the weight. And then he tries to plot it. And when he plots, he sees lines. And then he sees, okay, these are line, but you know, these are like, there are dot dots. So how does he find an equation on that? And that's where I introduced to ordinary least square after giving the logic. And that makes it very simple for the student. My recommendation would be that all of you who really want to understand statistics to that extent that, you know, terms do not scare you and you understand terms for life, then you should look at that course. Now, one question comes that why I am asking you to look at that course on Udemy and why I am not putting the whole video on YouTube directly. The reason is that Udemy also gives you features of uh, quiz so you can ask questions and you can actually check your understanding and you can understand why a particular question is right or wrong and if it is wrong why it is wrong if it is right why it is right also you know you can post questions which I can answer and other students can also answer and secondly you can also see what other questions people are asking and you can try to understand okay what answer has been given and that makes it a very easy for the collective learning. So my recommendation would be that, you know, if at all you want to understand statistics for life, 
so that the terms do not scare you any more and you understand each and every term for life then you should look at the content and try to understand it uh, one more thing that covers almost the entire syllabus of mba and almost everything that is required in the beginning to make a foundation for the advanced learning it is not that you know you can't survive without that so if essentially if you are looking for quick fix kind of thing then then probably you don't need to go through that course but if you are someone who you know are very certain that you know i want to understand this and i want to make myself comfortable in statistics then i must say that that is the course for you you should try to look into that thank you for watching